Hi there, prepare to be captivated by an unparalleled journey into the heart of having accurate NTP time in your Proxmox Home Lab server. We have not found a video in YouTube as comprehensive in covering this topic. Not only will you set up your Proxmox server for accurate NTP time, but we will show you how to set up NTP time in your VMs. We will explain what the NTP service is and why you need to install this on your servers. You will now be empowered to work with time. Accurate to better than a millisecond in your servers, including your Proxmox home lab. So, buckle up and expect to be amazed by this brilliant video. Please give our video a like. Now, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to our NTP and atomic clock expert Nico, who has sold atomic frequency standards to the telco industry. Please note that Nico has a Dodecanese European accent, but he speaks the Queen's English fluently. Over to you, Nico. Thank you, Josh. Hi there. All the information we are going to use for this video is available on our blog. We will provide a link to the URL below. Have a look for that. We recommend that you follow us and do the same on your server. Before we set up and configure NTP time on our Proxmox servers, I first want to go through two things and that is to explain what NTP is and why we need it. NTP is a network time protocol and it is a standard used for synchronizing time on computers across the network. This allows you to have servers in different regions and even in the same network all configured with the appropriate time. So if you are working with servers across different data centers, you would configure all the servers in one data center to your time. In our case, we will configure our Proxmox server and the VMs that run on it. Why do we need to install NTP on our servers? As I mentioned earlier, this allows us to synchronize time across our servers. For security reasons, it is important that you have your time on your servers accurate. And to do that, we will synchronize time with international servers or national servers. There are legal reasons for doing this, but it's also important when you are looking at lo the logs on your server when certain transactions failed to be able to have accurate time so that you can be able to tell when an event happened in your logs knowing that the time in the log is accurate. I now want to connect to my Proxmox server. I'm going to open it in my browser And then I'm also going to open it in the terminal. I have already done that. There are international time servers available for you to synchronize your servers. I have a link here to all the servers in the UK, in the USA, in Australia and in other countries, as well as links to the various servers for the different continents. So let's open the USA pool and you see these are the servers available for the USA. And that's what I have here. You will have two requirements to set NTP time. Firstly, you want to set it on your Proxmox server so that you can be able to synchronize your logs with the server logs. So if there was a problem on one of your servers, you could also look at the logs in Proxmox knowing that the times are the same. We would take the servers. I'm going to take one of my VMs and I'm going to set the time for that. So to do that, let me open a new tab. We are now going to install NTP 
on one of our Ubuntu server VMs. So to do that, you needed to do an update. My server is barely up to date. And then we need to install MTP. So let's copy this command. Yes, I should have said dash Y. Right, we've done that. Now we need to edit the NTP conf file. Please note, before you can run this command, you needed to have installed nano on your VM server or server VM. Let's put it that way. So let's run the command. And now we are looking for, here it is, this part here. Now this is pointing to the Ubuntu pool and we don't know where that is. So I'm going to comment these out. And then we are going to go back to the USA to make it convenient for you, I've actually put the link here. Otherwise, you can search by continent and by country. So here's the USA. And if I click on that, it brings me to here. So this is what you need to copy in here. And that's exactly what I have in my instructions here. So let's just copy that. And here I've made a note of what you need to put. If you are in the USA, you just copy that. Paste it above this. And now you save the file. Control S, Control X. Now that we've set the local servers for our country, let's continue with the installation. We should be able to run this command. And we can see the service is running. We need to restart it. So this is the command we need to, to run. And then we should be able to run the date command. My server is set for UTC time. I want all my servers across all countries to have the same time. So that's the reason I use UTC. I don't want to have European time for my German servers, British time for my British servers, Australian time for my Australian servers, and the various time zones in the USA. It becomes very confusing if you have servers across many countries, especially in the USA. So with UTC time, all your servers, no matter what time zone you have, will always have the same time. And that's valuable, especially when we're doing transactions, so that we can be able to take a transaction starting at one server, failing at another server, and be able to identify the, the issues. And I've also provided the instructions. If you are using Rocky Linux, then you can go through these instructions. I'm now going to set it up on the Proxmox server. So here is my Proxmox server. For the Proxmox server, you'll notice they use crony. So let us edit the crony config file. And likewise, you would pick up the servers for your country, copy that, and 
go in here. I'm going to comment the existing servers. It's better to comment than to delete because if you ever need to restore, you can just remove the hashes. Having done that, now let's put our USA time servers in there, like that. And then you say Control S, Control X. And now that we've edited the server times, now we can run this command to enable it. We want to restart the crony daemon. We've done that. And we should also be able to do a status. So let's go here and say status. And we can see that's running. And we can run this command tracking. And this gives us information about the server, when lost we synchronized. It even gives me information about the clock in my machine. You can see it's telling me that I am running minus four parts per million. So I don't have a very accurate clock. The reason I'm, I'm mentioning this is you have what they call stratum one and stratum two uh, time and frequency standards. Now the Stratum 1 servers, these run with cesium atomic clocks. The, the cesium clock loses one millisecond in a thousand years. And the Stratum 2 servers are rubidium. They lose one millisecond per year. So you can see these are extremely accurate clocks. Now they need that. People like NASA need this, but that's enough for this. I have now managed to set up my server. The last thing we need to do is run date. Now this particular machine is running SAST. You notice the previous machine that I was working with was using UTC time and that server was actually the one sitting in the UK. Thank you for watching this. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Please give us a like and please subscribe to our channel. We've, we've had this channel for a year and we haven't reached uh, the desired goal and we would love you to help us to get there. Thank you very much and with that, over to you Josh. We thank you for watching this video, delving into the transformative potential of having NTP time on your Proxmox home lab and extending our appreciation to Nico for his insightful demonstration of installing and utilizing this remarkable tool. Nico explained that the Network Time Protocol or NTP is the standard protocol for time synchronization in computer networks. This is important for systems with transactions running over many different time zones. We demonstrated how to set NTP on your servers as well as your Proxmox server. If you have not given us a like, please do so. Your commitment to exploring Kafka's capabilities has been invaluable. Stay tuned for more insights, more automation, and more empowerment through the incredible tools for your Proxmox home lab. Please give us a like and leave us a comment which we value to get your feedback. Tell us what you would like to see in this channel. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest content and tutorials. Subscribing ensures you never miss out on informative videos. We need your support to grow our channel. For those eager to deepen their knowledge, we invite you to become a Patreon supporter. This exclusive opportunity grants access to upcoming training courses, enriching your expertise while supporting the channel.
Patreon supporters will receive exclusive access to our training courses, helping you stay at the forefront of technological advances. We genuinely appreciate your support and look forward to sharing more enriching content with you. Stay curious, keep exploring, and continue harnessing the remarkable potential that Proxmox offers in your home lab and dev OPS automation journey. Thank you for being a part of our community.